Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I'll show you how you can create this asset in Odini and also how to rig it. So rig the opening of the doors. So let's get started by looking at the top. I'm starting with the grid which will act as a single panel. Then I'm copying it several times. In this case by using the bounding box exercise. So it's aligns properly or perfectly then place it in in the center and in this case I am running a loop to divide the geometry into sections I am switching between in this case I have a switch in here that run, randomly switches between just a, a wide division so just dividing the the, geo, the primitive uh, in the middle in this case by using the bounding box y size and divide it by two as you can see this will give you the the distance that it should place the line and on the other side i'm taking the primitive creating a line to match the same size in this case i'm taking uniform scale then resampling it to the amount of sections you want then in order I'm using a Voronoi fracture if, if I disable this point cheater you can see that it's perfectly dividing the geometry into sections I can do that easily with a divide but since I wanted to randomize I use this setup which is a Voronoi fracture and for the Voronoi fracture you actually need point centers as you can see I can show you so you actually need point centers and not the the intersections itself so in order to create the point centers after the resample I'm subdividing to get those point centers then selecting the outer ones so the original points by using the uh, group by range node selecting one out of two blasting those and that's basically how you get even distribution of uh, sections and then just i'm randomizing it so first selecting the inner points and then adding a point cheater to those inner points in this case i change the seed on each iteration which you can do by using the the detail the the iteration detail attribute and you get something like this so in here i'm just alternating between the inputs by using a random function and multiplying by the op inputs which is the number of inputs we have and if i show you let me get this oops right click parameters if i show you in here the switch you can see it's switching between switching between one and zero so that's how i've done that part then i'm just extracting the the edges the silhouette i mean basically by extruding it in or insetting it and then i ended up with something like this fusing the points extruding it back taking a bound and placing it in the back and just merging everything at this point you can create some name attributes to target different geometries but I'm just doing this as, as an example. So that's our wardrobe base. And now for the rigging. I'm starting with the base, which is this part in here. So the base. Then selecting half of the prims. In this case, I have four. I will get two by using in the end n prims divided by two. In this case, getting two blasting every other primitive and from here where should we go so 
First of all, I'm creating a name attribute for each primitive by using a prefix and the prim number as a string. And here I'm doing some sub operations, but we'll get there in a bit. So for the rigging, I'm first creating some points at the center, at the left center of the, each prim by using the bounding box center and the bounding box min commands and then adding those points in this case by group with an add node placing a rig doctor, a rig doctor and it's initializing transforms then doing the capture pack geo in this case using the name attribute and a bone deform and where everything happens is on this rig wrangle that was kindly shared by Swalsh on the CG Week Discord. So, so basically we create a parameter for the rotation, in this case in radians. We want the input as uh, degrees, but we need to translate it to radians. In here we are we are alternating between minus one for even points and one for odds to create the alternating directions as you can see in here. Then we need on the first point to rotate only half. So we this is basically an if statement. If the point is zero, we want uh, just to multiply by half of the rotation. Uh, for the other one, just uh, use one which will have no effect multiplying by one and in here we just use the pre-rotate for the local transform and multiply the panel angle which is this angle here we have in here this in parameter and multiply it by the panel sign which is the alternating directions and also for the first panel which we just want to rotate half and we want to rotate around y that's why we use here the axis again shared by Swalsh which I'm very grateful and if you're interested in joining the CG Wiki Discord just check out Matistella Patreon and you'll get access to it so having this we can now mirror the effect and we will get these these nice sliding doors and we can just match size it to the to the main part of the wardrobe and that's basically how it's done for the this pattern in here it's actually pretty simple first of all let me see i already covered this part so we're iterating over each prim and div basically dividing it evenly dividing each uh, primitive evenly as you can see in here so if you remember from this divide node and i shared this plenty of times on my channel basically you take the bounding box the size of the axis you're working with and divide it by the number of divisions you want. So let's say five, I get five sections. In this case, I set it to two. And in here, we're, we're using a multiplier, which I call density, and basically taking the, in this case, the X size and dividing it by the, the same X size, but with a seal since we want uh, integer numbers and multiply it by the density and if i change this to 20 we get less and we do the same for the y-axis as you can see then just extrude it in this case i am in setting it extruding and creating some no normals and we get something like this so yeah that's basically it if you like to get access to the full scene feel free to join my patreon 
and you can get all the project files from my videos along with exclusive tutorials and I also have some courses in there so if you want to check that out and other than the self-promotion uh, that was basically it thank you and I'll see you next time